Yeah, yeah, now it's much central at least. It's ducking to the left again. Yeah, okay. Yes. Come there. to treat the peripheral part of the retina. Now move back slowly. The patient is in the sister's lap for comfort. The patient feels comfortable and secure. Total of almost 3,000 shots. Now you'll be seeing in the screen. Atmanda is my name. As you'll see in the screen, we have already reached a very high number of count. What is the counter meter? 
ophthalmologist can do the laser very peacefully. Now we're doing the nasal part as you can see by moving the child around, so covering the full retina. We're seeing the whole procedure in real time, we have not edited it. Laser 8-10 nanometer is infrared, hence it's not visible as you see, it's invisible light. Just finish one eye and the counter is showing, doctor, how many spots it's showing? 3254 onwards. There, technique of ROP laser. This is extremely small, premature children who cannot be subjected to long time of laser which leads to bradycardia, hypoxia and other complications. Pediatric speculum. Very dependent on the media clarity but the interval and the exposure remain the same to give us such rapid laser. Child in the sister's lap to cover all 360 degrees the vascular retina. We miss the reach and the vascularized portion. We ablate the peripheral retina to reduce the wedge of secretion from the ischemic retina which leads to the proliferation of new vessels and later traction retinal detachment. We feel that the shorter duration of exposure induces less pain in these premature children because in a diode laser the pain is proportional to the exposure of duration, the exposure time for each laser spot. So what are the details of this children of this child? How preterm was he? Uh, the baby was about uh, 26 to 28 weeks preterm. Yeah. And uh, the birth weight was just 860 grams. Uh, the baby, uh, the baby's mother has a bad obstetric uh, history of eight abortions. Oh. And uh, this is a precious child, and the mother has undergone a hysterectomy right now. Oh. Then uh, this baby was uh, given surfactant. Uh, surfactant was instilled and the baby was, anti uh, was on a ventilator for just uh, two days. Uh, thereafter, the baby was on hood box oxygen for about three days. Okay. And uh, the baby has been on IV antibiotics including uh, higher antibiotics like uh, injection IV meropenem for 14 days. Uh, Tazac, Nicacin and right now it's on Taxin. So the patient had septicemia you feel or sepsis? No, 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 no. The patient was not in sepsis. But uh, because of, uh, in view of uh, low birth weight, preterm, and liability to uh, infection, we had kept minimal handling and the baby required uh, antibiotics. Okay. What are the risks? Very important to cover the area till the aura, the peripheral. The vascular retina has to be completely ablated in these children. Prevent recurrence. We try to finish the full ablation in one sitting. The second step, if this child doesn't respond to this, would be an anti vegf injection into the vitreous, which could either be macrogen or lucentis or avastin. 